give everybody just a couple. Derek Young from K State Online. Go ahead, Derek. Hey, Coach. Just just how did uh, Coach Tang sell you on the job to come to Kansas State? Well, let's see how he sold me on the job was the fact of he wanted to be able to put a staff together uh, that can um, basically elevate the program to another level uh, from a defense offense uh, chemistry standpoint, uh, relationship standpoint. Um, and we have a lot of similar traits, um, you know, too, in our beliefs. Uh, and so that pretty much, you know, done it for me uh, to realize that, hey, when you be around a lot of like-minded people with the same goals, then great things can happen. Have you guys had any, I guess, crossover in, in your past? I guess, what is your experience together that kind of, uh, you know, created that familiarity that you have that made you a candidate? Well, um, he's recruited some of my players that I've coached uh, in, in the past. And so he's been at uh, our practices and actually watched me run practice and been at our games and watched me coach games uh, and things like that. And uh, we've had a friendship, you know, through that. And, um, you know, when we go to the final forwards and see each other there and, you know, everything like that. And so that's kind of more or less how our relationship actually got started and, um, and it's just grown from there. Is there anything about your, your, I guess, coaching ability that you're the most confident in that you, you think you'll provide Kansas State with once uh, you really get on your feet and rolling? Yeah, um, I'm very confident in my abilities uh, to be able to coach. Um, you know, I'm very detail oriented, uh, make sure guys pay attention to the detail part, uh, holding guys accountable. Uh, and that's what coach is all about, you know, also. And, um, you know, he wants me to uh, kind of help out on the offensive side of, of things and uh, kind of built a little bit of a reputation for, you know, what we do offensively. Um, so, you know, therefore, I think that's going to be the, the biggest things for, for me uh, with the relationship. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, Derek. Uh, next question to Kellis Robinette of the Kansas City Star. Hey, Rodney, welcome to uh, Manhattan, first off. Thank you. Uh, I wanted to ask, why was it important for you to finish out the, the summer with MoCan for both you and Jerome Tang? Why was it important for you to finish out the season rather than just come and start immediately? Well, we, we're both the, the type of people that when you make a commitment to something, um, you have to be fully invested into that. Um, and so we figured it would not hurt. Uh, in any way, shape, form, or fashion. It actually would just be able to help us because of uh, me continuing to build relationships, not only with uh, the players that I was actually currently coaching, but I also have a lot of relationships with a, a lot of the other coaches and programs and directors of those programs in the EYBL that knowing that, hey, these are some of the programs and coaches that we're going to be dealing with in the future as far as recruiting base-wise go. And so we just wanted to continue to just keep building, you know, great relationships because a lot of recruiting part comes from, you know, the relationships that you build. Uh, and so we figured that that would be, you know, a, a great, you know, deal for us at K-State plus being able to, um, we always call it finish what you start. When I start something, I'm going to finish it. Um, and so that was what we kind of agreed upon. You've coached college and high school before. Is there anything you like about the college game more? Um, well, I, I love the college game. Uh, I was fortunate enough and blessed enough to be able to play, you know, Division One college basketball, win a championship. Uh, also, uh, played an NCAA tournament, uh, played for Hall of Fame coach in Charlie Spoonhour at Missouri State. Um, so, you know, I, I love the college game. Uh, I actually love the fact that, you know, uh, a lot of players – or wanting to become pros and and then college game puts you one step away from you know being a pro uh, you know too and then the exposure uh, that the college game actually gets I think is phenomenal uh, and so and then the, the talent level you know at, at the college level is a lot higher than at the high school level and so I, I love I love to compete 
Um, and so that's one of the things that that really, you know, triggered me about this, you know, position and situation here is that, you know, we're going to have opportunity to have some great teams here moving forward. Um, one more for you. It seems like everybody else in the staff kind of has connections in Texas, Louisiana and the South. You seem to be more in Missouri, this area. Is that kind of your wheelhouse recruiting right around this area? Well, I, the Midwest is is uh, where I have a lot of connections, uh, Arkansas, Oklahoma, uh, Missouri, Kansas, uh, Illinois, uh, Iowa. Uh, and then I also have some connections when my time that I spent in Pennsylvania, uh, out east there, you know, as well. So I have some ties and connections out there. But, you know, really, you know, I, I, I have ties and connections pretty a lot of other places, too, because when you're planning EYBL and you have teams, 40 teams there from all over the country, you actually build great relationships with those teams also. All right. Thanks, Rodney. And uh, welcome again. Thank you. Uh, next question to Tim Fitzgerald of Go Powercat. Oh. Fitz, you're on mute. Try again. There you go. Oh. Oh, still can't hear you. <laughs> the volume button. <laughs> okay. Uh, we'll come back to you, Fitz. Uh, Tim Everson from the Manhattan Mercury. Hey, Rodney. How are you doing? Great, Tim. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. Um, I guess with, with 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 kind of not being with the rest of the coaches while you've been with Mocan, what what's kind of your familiarity with with the roster so far that they've kind of built up, and 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 how much have you gotten to you know know any any of the guys that they brought in? Well, I was able to keep up with uh, everything that was going on uh, the whole entire time, and uh, I actually got a chance to come in and watch the guys work out um, in June. Uh, when it was working out uh, and had opportunity to meet the guys, you know, also. So I'm, I'm familiar with, with pretty much all the guys. Um, there was only two guys that wasn't here, you know, at the time, uh, Bebe and Taiki uh, was the two, but uh, I have synergy. Uh, so I was able to actually go and pull up, you know, film and study those guys and watch those guys uh, too. And then Bebe was also at Arkansas for, uh, a year, uh, and I'm from Arkansas, so I'm always familiar with everyone that's in the Arkansas program. Uh, and so, uh, Desi, I was very familiar and actually, you know, coached against Desi coming up and everything too. And so, uh, so I've been very familiar with with all the guys on the roster. And then obviously you just brought up Baby and, and, and Desi, but just as a as a whole, what what's kind of your impression? Of, of of the roster right now. I know they're kind of an athletic bunch. Long, yeah, long, long athletic uh bunch. Um, you know, defense is gonna be the the the, the thing. Uh we're gonna lay our hat on defense and uh be able to use our athleticism and uh even with Marquise being as fast as he is and as crappy as he is, being able to get out and transition and go a little bit there, you know, too. And uh, but just overall, just being able to, you know, find some chemistry, find out what everyone does, you know, the best and figure out what the roles will end up being on the team for different guys. And you just getting those guys to buy into their role to, for us to be successful. And then just, just being a Midwest guy and, 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 and being around what, before coach Tang reached out to you, what, what, what's been your impression of K-State as a program, as a school, just from a, from an, from an outsider's point of view, what have, what have you what have you thought? Well, I've been fortunate enough to be able to watch and follow K-State. I actually had a couple of my former players actually play uh, here with Will Spradlin and Nino Williams uh, also. So those two guys played for me, and I used to be able to come and watch them play uh, while they was here. And number one is the fan base. Um, the fan base is terrific. Um, you know, and then obviously – the tradition here and, you know, having some teams that, you know, have been able to win big 12 uh, conference championships and uh, do well in the NCAA tournament uh, not too long ago uh, in the case they was in the lead eight, 
Uh, and so those are the things that we want to be able to do each and every year uh, too. And so knowing, you know, the familiarity with K-State uh, allows me to be able to convince some of the kids in the Midwest that, hey, this is a place that you want to definitely come and be a part of. Thanks, Rodney. Nice to meet you. Thank you, too. See if uh, Fitz was about to be able to. Let's see Fitz yet. Any other questions for Coach Perry? Let me make sure that Tim. Tim, have you gotten back on yet? I don't see him here. Six ten zero. Oh, there he is. Tim, were you able to get back on? Can you hear me? No, nothing. <laughs> Any other questions for Coach Perry before we let him off? Coach, if you just give me one second, I'm gonna have you uh, stay 